G'day everybody, it's Dave from Wing Chun Mind Force. Another one of my um, car videos. I'm very groovy, aren't I? Very hip. Um, this one is about the absolute importance of letting go. And um, the concept Fong Sung, which we all know or should know, it means literally um, let go and connect with softness. Um, more fully let go and connect with the power of softness and a friend of mine who was a student of uh, Sigong Chushong Tin told me that Sigong in Chinese talked a lot about the power of softness and he said that in in Chinese words like Fong Sung um, even Su Nim Dao all those words imply connection between each part of the word so Fong Sung um, pardon me my pronunciation as always means to let go and connect with Sung the state of Sung the state of letting go the state of softness and there's many other words you could use for it but that's that's the essence so just made some notes here, turn back on. Um, many years ago, I, I started Kung Fu literally in 67 when I, I, I was a little boy, about nine, saw Bruce Lee as Kato in The Green Hornet. Became a big fan, I really loved, I used to watch all sorts of stuff, but I, I really loved The Green Hornet and I really loved um, Kato. And I didn't know his name was Bruce Lee at the time, but he was my hero and I, I, we didn't have videos or any way to sort of re-watch things so I just watch what he did in the shows and uh, copy them and then in the, um, and I'd, I'd sort of just always played around with it <clears throat> and then in the 70s I rediscovered Bruce um, through his movies and um, so I was very taken with the what you might call the external side of, of the art, what it looked like, how to do side kicks, punches. My father was a boxer, he showed me how to do straight punches. Um, very similar to Wing Chun in a lot of ways, no telegraphing, no sort of sticking the elbows out, coming through the center, sticking to the center, guarding yourself. Um, and then when I was about 21, 1970, end of 79, I had a, um, very severe illness and, and I experienced what I might, what I, I call an NDE, a near-death experience. Um, that's a story for another time, perhaps another YouTube channel. But after that, I became very um, religious for a couple of years because I sort of experienced God and heaven in a certain way and um, a feeling of strong connection to a God, you know, to the, the other side, to the universe, um, and saw it through a Christian lens. It was a sort of a Pentecostal, charismatic Christian group. So everyone believed that miracles were possible, that those things are not something that happened 2,000 years ago, they could still happen. Anyway, long and the short of it is, I learnt a lot of spiritual principles there that even though I, I parted ways with the church and eventually with strict Christianity, and I'm not putting down Christianity, I just my personal path sort of took me into other directions and other studies, but I learned a lot of things in there that you could call metaphysical principles. Um, we were pretty much like monks and nuns. <laughs> there was no sex, we were celibate, we just lived for you know, communing with God basically. And one of the most powerful things I learned was a concept that we as humans have very limited power and the things that come against us in life can be overwhelming. And we were taught to let go and let God. It was a sort of a, a saying, a bit cliched, but it's so true, let go and let God. And what it meant was 
you can't really overcome things just in human strength. You know, you can you can be strong, but there's a point where things are beyond you. You can't, you know, you can't change circumstances by trying to change them. And so by letting go, we were taught to go, well, this is too much for me, God, I've got no strength. You do it, you change it, you make it happen. So let go and let God. And that's pretty much what Fung Sung is. And see, I'm not being religious here. I'm just saying this is a spiritual human principle. So you've got to let go. And um, there's another saying. Come back. Um, from the Bible, there's a, there's a saying, what is impossible for man is possible for God. And it's the same sort of thing. And I suppose the basic principle of really spiritual Christianity, like so many other religions, is to submit to this higher power, realize that you don't have much power, but you can have incredible power when you submit, when you sort of realize that you can't do it all by yourself. And I think that's a huge part of, of what Wing Chun's about is letting go of consciously trying to control things and let the subconscious, which I believe connects to God or the universe, the Nimdao, um, let that take over. Now, this is the real work of Wing Chun, you know, learning the forms and getting good at Qi Sao and those things, super important, but this is where the power comes from, is letting go and um, I'll just leave you with a couple of concepts um, there's a saying less is more which is a Taoist concept and there's the concept of Wu Wei which means trying not trying um, look up that and the last thing I wanted to mention was um, a book that Bruce Lee really loved called Zen in the Way of Archery by Eugene Herigel and in that book, Eugene Herald, Herigel, hi darling, just a sec, I'm just finishing this video. This, this book by Eugene Herigel was written in the 30s, a uh, young German guy who went to Japan and studied for a number of years with an archery master. And there's a lot of wisdom in that book. I'll go into it deeper at some stage, but the one thing I wanted to tell you about was the old master says to him at one stage when the Eugene's getting very frustrated, he says, look, you think if you don't do it, it won't happen. And Eugene said, well, of course, you know, how can something happen if I don't do it? And he says, that's the essence of this. You've got to stop trying to do it and let it do it. And it is the subconscious or the unconscious. Um, and on a higher level, you can say it's it's the connection to God, the universe, the Tao, you know, the way of nature, whatever you want, whatever works for you, it's that, that's the thing. That's what letting go. So this is the quest in Wing Chun. This is where the real power comes from, is letting the subconscious have its way. And I was told by a very senior friend of mine in Wing Chun that Sigong had said to him, um, when you can really use your Nim Dao and release the, the mind force, the Nim Lik, then it fights for you, it, it makes the strategy, it makes the moves, you don't have to worry about it. And I absolutely believe that's true. And so I'll leave you with that. Okay. See you next time.